hi you guys um today we're gonna do something a little tiny bit different but don't worry it still involves bugs hey everybody don't forget to hit that subscribe button by the way if you're not an arachnid fan that means spider um you don't have to do this thing so we're gonna be a relaxing a spider this is a wolf spider and it's dead we just found it laying on the ground at my aunt's house in, in Texas. And if you want to take a close peek what's in here, look, look away. This is a cow killer. It doesn't really kill, but it has a nasty sting. Red and black is not a friendly friend. <laughs> and here we have a cicada and a cicada, but this is a cicada killer. You don't want to get stung by that guy. Uh-uh. I want to get stung by this because it's a ginormous wasp. They will attack for no reason, but maybe they might attack for one. You're near its nest. So when you're relaxing the spider, you might want to keep it for a few days just to make sure it's dead. Because if it's not dead and you're already trying to relax it, you'll get bit. By the way, relaxing is when you just moisten it up and it, if it's like hard, like an insect that's been out for lots of days. Like, they get really stiff, and then it's hard for them to move, and then you actually might break them. So we're just gonna uh, relax. And by the way, you can relax with a butterfly, too. Mm -hmm. Got to get two wet towels and put them on top. One on the bottom, one on top, like sandwich. <laughs> but don't eat it, no, no, no. <laughs> Leave it for a few hours, because you want to give time for it to soften. And you want to say hi to our little beetle friend? It's like a baby dune bug. They're all over the place. They get bigger than this. Take your spider out. I'm really scared this because I have spider phobia. That means I'm scared of spiders, but I'm doing this for you guys. Stop it, just stop. I feel really unsafe right now. I'm not lying. Just freaks me out. Some spiders just curl up like this and they like just stay in this position so you think they're dead. But we know this guy is dead because we've had him for a few days. I'm not gonna touch him, but I still feel unsafe with the needles because they're not long enough because it can jump right at me if it was still alive. I just, thank you for doing that. Do you get stuck, do you still have spider phobia with this thing? Mm-hmm. Beetle, he's not dead, Mom. I think he just saw his one. I'm just gonna get two needles. This is. It looks like he's soft enough, so we don't gotta relax him. Don't worry, guy, when I'm not putting you in there. This. So this is a wolf spider. You can tell because it has a stripe right here. By the way, if you think this is easy, it is very not easy to me. What you Because you, like, you're trying to make sure it doesn't move, but then it moves, and you're gonna have to stretch like eight legs out. So, so, so we're gonna put a needle on each side, because my mom told me, and then, Wapow, he won't move. Yay! Brody. Hey, it's fine. Oh, I think it's. Oh, oh, look how long its leg is! You don't want to get bit by this wolf spider. No, no, no. You don't want to poke a hole through it either. This is the very first spider in my bug collection. And you're trying to make it look like it's standing up. Does it really look like it's standing up or what? It's 
get the back legs up. They don't want to poke his butt. The back legs don't want to budge very easily. It's really hot out today and humid in Texas is not what you think it is. Humid is like hot. Like it doesn't let your sweat go. It just makes you get hotter. Mm, almost there. Stretch out leg. Woo, that looks cool. Do you agree, guys? Agree. I'm just looking at it, it scares me. Harley, get down, you little munchkin. So, we got our very first spider. We got the spider in. And we have a huge mosquito problem. Can you get his little fangs to stick out? Oh, that's a good idea. I'm actually feeling a little bit more safe for some reason. Cause I've been doing this. When I get a little more, if you get a little more used to it, you'll feel a little more safer doing it every time. I'm getting his fangs out. Are those, I don't think those are his fangs. Yeah, but those are his fangs. What are those? Those are, I think that's what helped him push the, his food in his mouth. That's what helps him push his food into his mouth, I think. Well, I don't know for sure. Okay, guys, I'm just doing an estimate. As a guess. I want to do this from a certain angle, but it's not allowing me to. But we will uh, get in there. There, now you can see the fangs. It's right in the middle. They have pretty good vision, but they're dude. Wolf spiders pretty much look like tarantulas. I think we might find a dead one of these guys on the porch. Want to go have a little look? Come on, let's go. Let's keep it open just in case we find one. Let's go, guys. Watch out. There's sometimes pokey ones in. Look at this little thing. I found this guy in the grass. Want to see how far they hop? Ready? Here he is. Oh, he hopped away. Wait, I think I got one inside. We're going to have to go after this one. So, if you want to try this, you guys, you got to be sure. Because if you're afraid of bugs, or if you're scared of spiders don't do this unless you really want to because this is a big big choice and these things get really stinky by the way so you might want to know what you're doing before you do this okay you guys and I'm just telling you it might not be very nice to kill it on purpose so Usually I just, I only find dead bugs. I don't kill them or anything. I only find them as dead. And then I pick them up and put them in here. Unlike this guy, you know how I didn't just take him and kill him and just stick him in here? I let him live. So it's not very nice to get the one, kill them when you're alive, just to get in your bug collection. By the way, don't kill these little guys. Just find the dead ones. They're all over the place, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. See you next time.